hello, hello. Let me connect here. Check. Am I, you can hear me all well. Hello, I gotta go and give these, give this thing a share. Let me give it a share. How's it going? One, one person watching. Audio. Is it all cratchy? Okay. Sometimes the audio has been a little weird. Sorry. Just got to give it a share. Share to your story. Share to your previous story. How's it going? Does it seem like the audio is not matching up? to my bo like my voice moving or is that just me I think it I think it might just be me just let me know if there's latency if it seems like it's not matching up to my mouth <laughs> how's it going Is it going? Let me know if you're here. I have to turn the headphones off because it's not matching up for me. So you have to let me know uh, how it sounds. Because <laughs> I, I can't tell anymore. So my headphones are off. All crackly. Hmm. That happened to me before. One second. Check. Is it all crackly? Now it's not. Sorry, everybody. We're getting some. Let me check one more thing. Okay. Check it one more time. Now it should be on crackling. Right? Yep, it's just that there's no reverb now. Or EQ. Whatever. Well, now there's no uh, reverb or anything, so you just have to listen dry. Hi, Barbara. Linda, what's up?
this was the uh, first single that I released for the new album, which I am putting out a new album on August 5th, um, which is uh, what I'm, what I'm, you know, I'm going to be talking about a lot coming up. So uh, this was the first single. It's called Reverence. Well, I was 12 when I held my first pair of drumsticks. They glowed by my parents' basement lights And I saw them unbashing on my blue sparkle kits But I still got them in the drawer in my bedroom closet And I was 15 when I got my first guitar Yes, I opened up the case to a cheap red fender And I know that it wasn't much No, just plain plywood But I took care of it I cherished it till we both played pretty good and I'm trying to live with some reverence Give some importance Set out with some intent Yes, and be grateful for it all. Appreciate what's given and past the generations. And realize that nothing, nothing is as simple as it seems. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to have some reverence for what's in front of me. Now I've only had this guitar for a few years Oh, every scratch on it is mine Yes, we feel so intertwined And I don't see it as an instrument It's more like a samurai sword It's a lifetime of service Well used and well worn I'm trying to live with some reverence I'll give some importance Set out with some intel Yes, and be grateful for it all Appreciate what's given Oh, in past two generations And realize that nothing Nothing is as simple as it seems Oh, well, I'm trying to have some reverence for what's in front of me. Now I've been, now I've been singing out for a while. I've got a few jagged scars. I've smiled on TV and had stars laugh at me strumming this guitar. But I think I figured out what my success really means Oh, it's being grateful for being able to really be me I'm trying to live with some reverence I'll give some importance Set out with some intent Yes, and be grateful for it all Past generations realize nothing, nothing is as simple as it seems. Oh, well, I'm trying to have some reverence. I'm trying to have some reverence. I'm trying to have some reverence for what's in front of me. Thank you. It's funny not knowing how it sounds at all. I'm... Sounds good? Okay. Not crackly? It sounds crackly a little bit on my end right now. I'm sorry about this crackle thing. Is it like that, Hal? Crackle? Yeah. Are they saying that again? No. It just sounds like that on my end for some reason. Check. Yeah. Oh. And it goes away. Okay, it sounds good. Linda says it sounds good. Rich says it sounds good. 
What's up, Steven? It's so nice to be back with all of you. It's um, It's been a very crazy, crazy month. Um, it's been lots of traveling. I started May in Texas doing this competition called the Songwriter Serenade Competition, which uh, it's this thing where we go to a private ranch and it's this beautiful 400 acre working cattle ranch um in like rural texas and it's like a songwriter retreat competition sort of thing and it uh it was a very interesting experience and then i went to um a few folk alliance events which folk alliance is this big big like industry conference I guess I would call it like it's it's this crazy thing and hotels and showcases and, and you're running around like a crazy person travels I was playing at this place the neon rooster in April which is this amazing venue in North Carolina and I stumbled upon this guitar in a guitar store nearby it's called a Nixon guitar and it was handmade by this guy in, uh, in Virginia it just says Nixon and for Nixon and, and I don't usually love those kind of guitars. I, I really kind of like the more classic, the Martins and the, the Gibsons and that kind of vibe. And this is uh, not that, but I was just so blown away by it. You can hear just from... And uh, this is, that was the first single, and this is going to be the second single that I release. And this, is, this might be my favorite song on the album. And, I played it uh, for Songwriter Serenade and Folk Alliance. It's called Hard to Hate. This song's going to come out in the beginning of July. I was booked at a biker bar upstate. It was leather jackets and guns on hip. Whipped in in my dad's red Prius I was stuffed in a corner Singing fire and rain When a hell's angel spun towards me As he was limping over I swore I was about to die Then we talked for 20 minutes About his favorite songs From Sweet Baby Jane his voice got softer and softer It's pretty hard to hate someone When they're right in front of you It's so easy to fall in love When you take the close-up view When it's not a screen, it's a face It's a heart to name it's pretty hard to hate When you can really see the flame The fire behind everyone's pain I was booked at a bright pink bachelorette Where they wished I was a stripper Drunk women barking Won't you play Michael Buble? Picked his saddest one Just to be rude But much to my surprise One by one they started slowing down And for two whole hours we sang and laughed As we watched the walls come down We all followed each other on Instagram it's pretty hard to hate someone when they're 
right in front of you. It's so easy to fall in love when you take the close-up view. When it's not a screen, it's a face. It's a hard to name. It gets pretty hard to hate when you can really see the flame. Fire behind everyone's pain. I gave captives a bag of chips by the side of the road. I saw the scars on her face as she said, "Did you know I used to be somebody? I used to be somebody." Start to look like you. It's so easy to fall in love when their face reflects the truth. That you can never quite escape. Good luck fighting off the flame. The fire always remains. Ooh, it's all. Yeah, I like that song. I uh, that's that's gonna be the second single coming out, and um, that one was really hard to write because it was sort of like three window panes of an idea, you know, in stories and. And I wrote it about all those gigs I used to play, um, where it was just uh, ridiculous, you know, in a Mexican restaurant, one until like I, it was eleven to two a.m. and it was just a ridiculous experience. And and all the gigs I used to play that were so great in their own way, you know, but they were crazy. And um, I met so many people doing that, and I keep meeting so many people. Hello, oh thanks, Stephen. Barbara, oh, that's so sweet. Thanks, Patricia. What's up? Amanda, hi. Hi, Patty. So, Barbara, this is interesting because you are maybe the only person that's watching this that has actually heard the album because I think we met at a show. Hi, Linda. How's it going? Um, we met at a show, and you got the album, and you've been listening to it. So if you have any requests for the album, feel free to let me know. But um, no pressure there. But... I'm glad you like that song. This guitar, yeah, it's so weird, kind of, because it's, it, it's like you barely touch it, and it just go like, you know, it's so bright sounding and so incredible sounding. You know, I posted yesterday. Part. And I said, do you know what James Taylor song that is? And uh, Vicky actually reached out to me and said, who's watching now, uh, that it was the song Wandering, which I forgot about that song. And here's a thing about James Taylor guitar parts. He is an incredible guitar player, and he definitely has a, a thing, you know? Like, he uses certain chords sort of over and over again, but he's the master of it, you know what I mean? Um you have it memorized, oh my god. You're like so sweet. Oh. And so this is exactly the same chord um, as and the same finger picking as wandering, but then it changes. But I've long sort of thought of this song as his most complex guitar part. Um, and I took Oh yes, Linda, you did too. It's, uh, I took some time to learn it yesterday. Well, the secret of life is enjoying the passage of time. Any fool can do it. There ain't 
Everybody knows how we got to the top of the hill. But since we're on our way down, we might as well enjoy the ride. The secret of love is an opening up your heart. It's okay to be afraid. Don't let it stand in the way no longer. 'Cause everyone knows that love is the only road. And since we're only here for a while, we might as well show some style. Give us a smile now. Isn't that a lovely ride? Sliding by, gliding by, and try not to try too hard. It's just a lovely ride. About times, the time isn't really real. It's just your point of view. How does it feel for you in there? Einstein said that he could never. Smile upon your face. Welcome to the human race now. Some kind of love ride, sliding by, just gliding by. Try not to try too hard. It's just a lovely. I mean, that is an incredibly hard song. <laughs> like, unbelievably difficult to play. I appreciate it, Stephen. Thank you. And James, I, I think I've heard you play that song, right? Like, isn't that just... But this kind of... Like, the song I played before that, I'm using that same chord. And he uses that all the time. Callum, who's not on Facebook, on YouTube, says, I found you during your, your cover of No Diggity is still something I love listen... I still love listening to. Oh, my God. I don't even know how I would play that song. So Callum is on uh, is on YouTube, and he said that he liked No Diggity, which was when I was a freshman at Berkeley. I, I did this little thing with some of my friends, and we got in a little practice room, and we uh, we did this little this little thing where we just sang this song No Diggity, which you maybe know, um, and. It went like mildly viral. Um, it got like four hundred thousand views or something, um, and it was really cool. It got shared on Reddit and, and and all this stuff. And you're from the UK, long time fan from the UK. He says. So I haven't played this song in probably f four years. But uh, Calm, this one's for you.
I had a buzz cut. I was like at least 20 pounds heavier than I am now. I'm glad you remember it. That's like so sweet and funny. And like, that was a long time ago. Thanks for sticking around. Um, I'm going to do a song that. It's sort of. Yeah, if you've seen me at a show recently. Yeah, Linda, you saw me at a show. Linda C. Um, Barbara, I, I hope I'm not forgetting anybody that's seen me at a show lately. Um, I, I've been a. Uh, I've been toying around with this song. That is, it's sort of a very James Taylor kind of song. Um, I'm actually going to switch guitars for this. No, 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 I'm going to keep it. Um, yeah. Well, there's got to be a first ding every time. Um, and it's, it's, I think it, it, it needs some, some edits still a little bit, but I, I like it. And I, I, I want to work on it more. So it's called Satisfied. And yes, Hallie will be joining. He was my idol, an elder, blowing smoke in my face. As he said, son, a real artist can never be happy. We were outside in the Texas sunlight. I just stepped off stage. His words burned in me the whole drive back home. Cause I've been working hard every day, digging this car into the pavement. Heard the Beatles put in 10,000 hours And some days it feels like I'm sweating up a ladder to nowhere but Some days I can see the sky so clearly I don't know if I'm happy But I sure am satisfied From time to time As I bounce through obligations Building a life And what is happiness Without its substance Why am I stuck searching for the highs and lows while the good part passes Cause when I blue Cause I can pick out a million moments When I can lay down a new song I don't know if I'm happy But I sure am sad See 
She's got dark hair and blue eyes. She stands tall in many ways. She's a fighter, and she's a lover, and she's my life's companion. But where do passions, partitions end? And where does partnership begin? Yes, sometimes we really piss each other off. Sometimes we're working so hard. We lose track of the little things. We got a little house, a little couch, a little room that gets messy. I don't know if I'm happy, but I sure am satisfied. From time to time, as we both learn what love is. Sharing our lives, and what is happiness without its absence? You can't build a life in love only on passion. But when I picture my salvation, I see dark hair and blue eyes. I don't know if I'm happy. I sure am satisfied. As I'm watching my face get old, I think I'm finally starting to find my way. Looking for the light in a calm and steady. Instead of waiting for the crashing waves, what is happiness anyway? It's in a million little moments that make up my life. I don't know if I. I don't know if I'm happy. I sure am satisfied. Thank you. Could you get that stuff out? Um. Oh, Tina, I appreciate that. If you go, um, if you right below the phone number thing on Venmo, you can just hit, um pay without confirming if it's me with the hair in the picture that's me <laughs> um it's it's 2181 though if you if you want to know um all right let's see i'm gonna do this is a very different sounding guitar oh yeah oh looking forward to seeing you in cambridge this summer well okay so I am promoting this. Um, if you're in New England, it would mean so much to me if you came out to my album release show. Um, it's my first time doing like my own show at Club Passim in Cambridge, Mass, which is like one of the best venues in the country for folk music, and I am slightly terrified uh, about doing it, but I'm very excited. And so August 4th, it's a Thursday. If you can make it out, I'm going to have some special guests how he's going to join me. It's going to be awesome. And August 4th, um, if you go to my website, um, oh yeah. hi, Emily, Emily Casada. Oh, Emily Casada. Oh, um, if you're in New England, August 4th, it would mean a lot to me if you came to the album release show. And I have to do a quick promo. I have CDs on my website you can pre-order. I have fucking vinyl. Vinyl records, baby, that you can pre-order, and I have. Oh, I should play that song actually. I'm changing up the song. I'm gonna play the bullshit song. Um, and I have T-shirts that say this lyric. Maybe it's all bullshit, which is a uh, sort of the lyric from uh, from this song. It's uh, sorry, there's too many guitars and too many tuners around. Uh, it's oh thank you Marie oh. 
Hopefully I'll see I'll see you there. You and Dom and everybody. Um Yeah, it would mean a lot, you know, trying to get a, a turnout and it's always terrifying. It would just mean a lot if you came, you know, but if you can't, I still love you, don't worry. But I'm gonna do this song that it's kind of the cornerstone of the album is what I've been saying. It's it's been well received <laughs> live and I've been loving playing it. Um, and I wrote it, I think I've played it on the live stream before, but I'll tell the story. Um, I wrote it when I was just after COVID happened and uh, everything was on fire uh, and I had moved to Nashville six months previously and I had done all the things I sort of wanted to do in Nashville you know I had not everything but I, I you know I played at the Bluebird Cafe and I did I wrote with hit writers and I did the whole thing and and I was I, I was realizing I had just graduated college and I was realizing that the world was not the world was different than I thought it was going to be um, and I wrote this song about it and I made the t-shirt it's going to be one of the singles in the album um, if you want to order any of the stuff from the album my website in the link in the little description you can pre-order the vinyl whatever it's called Wouldn't Change a Thing for a while I thought that I'd missed my shot and by the time I turned 25, everybody would have forgot About me and my story, my songs and who I am I'd fade into obscurity, another guitar playing white man And I used to stand at the kitchen table And see the Rolling Stone cover stars who just turned 21 Six or seven Grammys in their arms And that world seems so far from me Graduating college at 23 While they're off living their dreams They must be so happy Oh, but maybe it's all bullshit And nobody knows what they're doing Five million dollars or a million more fans It wouldn't change a thing about who I am da -da -da -da. Now I see it in the faces of my friends and my mom Time takes everything There's no use trying to hold on But that doesn't stop some people From trying to cheat the clock yeah. As if chasing after youth Isn't just a lifetime of mourning Yes, I see that it's all bullshit And nobody knows what Buying millions of dollars or Botox injection, it wouldn't change a thing about who I am. I'm just a man born and bred in New Hampshire, blonde hair, six foot one and three quarters. I'm not my songs, no, I'm not a brand. I'm not an image Yes, I, I see that it's all bullshit And nobody knows what they're really doing And if I had millions of dollars Instead of this Nissan van It wouldn't change a thing It wouldn't change a thing, babe change a thing about who I am. Yeah, <laughs> that's
that sucks fun to play. That sounds crazy. I'm gonna probably do one more and then have you come up Okay. Um are there any requests out there for one? Um let me know if there's any requests, and then I'm gonna do one more and then Howie's gonna sing with me. So you only have you only have one more to suffer through until Howie's up here. Um but thank you guys again for tuning in. Um it's so nice doing these uh with you and and it's nice that you would come back and, and listen. Um, and yeah, I, I, I hope to see you this summer. I'm playing a bunch of shows this summer, but uh, yeah, if you're in New England and you're not doing anything August 4th, you want to come through to uh, Club Passim, it would, it would mean a lot. We'll do a cover. Thanks, Linda. Thanks, Penny. Yes, Linda, I am playing in Atlanta this fall. Um, uh, if you look on my website, I have dates for the rest of the year, so you can see. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do this, actually. I'm just going to do a guitar song, if that's okay. <laughs> and then we'll have Hallie. Was a, a, a slightly sloppy rendition of Tommy Emanuel's "Close to You." I just felt like doing a guitar song. All right, maybe you want to take this out. Are we good? All right. So we have the wonderful. Thanks, Linda. Oh, thanks, Joy. What's up, Joy? Yes, "Close to You." It's that part for me. It's. the whole thing at uh, uh, Faneuil Hall, right? Yeah. All right. We're going to welcome in special guest, Hallie Rose Neal. Oh, we have to are we going to get you so this is in the way. We wish you that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, folks. Yeah, let's just have that. Um, 
This is on the album. So the album is called Bigger Than In Between. If you can read that. Can you read this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Aunt Joyce is watching. Thank um, goodness. Hi, Queen. <laughs> uh, the album is called Bigger Than In Between. And this was a song that I wrote a long time ago, actually, at the beginning of COVID. And it was... Linda, that's a... And it's um, one that I, I wrote it from a, from a, a song from the 1850s. I've probably talked about this on the live stream, but there was a song that was that it was like a folk song about hard times, and I, and I learned it at the beginning of COVID, and I, I wanted to do what what the great folk singers do, and I just ripped it off and I made my own song. It ended up being the title of the album, and uh, as you can see, featuring Ooh. Hallie Neal. So, uh, yeah. She's a singer, really. I've spent years by the door with unsight shoes, counting everything I could lose. If I take that first step. My feet don't fly If I let my fragile dreams Break free but die I feel what my eyes can't see There must be something Bigger than in between From every life I this is what I've gleaned. There must be something bigger than in between. I felt it in gymnasium dances, weddings and funerals too. Glowing moments pushing us towards the truth. This is what I've gleaned. There must be something bigger than in between. These days I bounce between my phone and my TV screen. A million voices shouting loud and louder. to say anymore I don't know what to think There's so much fear behind everything But when I walk outside My neighbors smile I still see the blue the new blue sky and it's so easy to see that there must be something there's gotta be something there must be something can hear that on the album um and it really adds a lot to it and it's the first track too which i i kind of enjoy that it's the first track um 
I think maybe we'll just do one more. You just ordered it, Linda? Awesome. Aww. That's like so sweet. This is it. Sneak peek. It looks good. Yeah. Did you show them the inside? No. Was that a surprise? No, we didn't see that. Do you want to see the inside? Oh, sneak peek. Look at that cute pick. Wait, I don't know. I'm so confused. The depth. Oh, pff, I'm all off. There's the pick. Cool. So fun. They love it. See, they love it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It looks great. Do you want to do it by yourself? No. What should we do? Any requests know. out there? Really Maybe a cover to end it? I think this is going to be the, uh, the last song, but um, thank you guys so much for, for tuning in. We could do um, oh, yeah, true. Okay, we're going to do this one. Um, and it's a fan favorite. It's a fan I, favorite. Let me do this. Like, song. I don't know about, I don't know, I just think, like, a lot of people like it. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean by fan favorite. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to be back here next week. For the next two weeks, I will be doing these. So, Fun. Sunday nights, I will see you for the next few weeks, hopefully. Um, it's coming way out of tune. If James is still watching, I mean, I think we've talked about this, but I did get a carbon fiber and you sort of convinced me. Oh my gosh. Here's something else from the new album. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay. Can you... Vicky, so request an original, I'll do an original. This is uh, one from the album that I didn't really expect to get on there, but it kind of just fit the moment, and this song, I wrote it without a concept in mind. It was just kind of like, it was just a feeling, I don't know. I, I saw these kids playing, and uh, I mean playing. Hanging out. Hanging out. They hang out. Um, and it made me think back to when I was 16, so I wrote a song. The night's rolling in. Mist off the river. My home world's in view from the front porch. I can see every star flying farther away. My home, my place And maybe the real you Is always a little more rosy But I wonder how kids these days feel On summer nights when they're 16 Because these days seem, those days seem so close Still so far These days I spend my nights Trying to capture that feeling Singing in smoky rooms And cocktail bars Tell me Will it ever feel Tell me Will it ever feel Tell me Will it ever feel Like it did Tell me, will it ever feel? Tell me, will it ever feel? Tell me, will it ever feel like it did back then? Back then. I played at a swing and graduated. Party for the quarterback and a nerdy kid, caking girls in dresses, but he didn't care. He walked up wide eyed after watching all night from afar. He told me he played guitar. And in his eyes, that old exciting sensation, feeling you. Running hand in hand I told him I was still leading with that feeling He shook his head But he knew what I meant And then he said I'm going to do for business And he 
faded in to that never ending senior year June mist. Oh, tell me. I'm Sam Robbins. This is Hallie Neal. Um, Hi. Album pre-order Hi. if you want to go on my website. Oh, you don't have to buy it, but um, thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> um, thanks for thanks for tuning in. I will see you next Sunday. And uh, I love you all, and yeah. <laughs> August, August 4th at Club Pastine. Bye, y'all. Thank you again.